Hello. I like to welcome you back to Ukimon with Song of Horror. Last time, well, I killed a guy by accident. Apparently, don't go out windows. Uh, oh, I'm not playing with a controller. One second, that makes sense. I'm like, the controls are a bit different. There we go. Yep, there we go. Okay, now this all makes sense. Okay. I have to get back to my body, which is upstairs in the attic. Oh, let's go. Sorry, give me a second. I'm trying to learn the controls again. Okay, that's sprint. Okay, that's all I was trying to find. Do this. Hmm. I turned off the alarm. Why was the alarm on when it was off? Oh well. Mr. Sebastian's favorite coat is missing. Do not. All right. Last time I fixed the power and I died. The clock in the entrance is off, and yet it still is going. <laughs> if you could see hushers when they were li little in these pictures, their families taken in their fifties. All right, we have to return back to my body to get my items I dropped. On the second floor, we want to basically... Now, now, light. Stay on. Okay, I want to go... Nope. Oh, right, I took a picture. Right, the round painting. Nope. Yeah, skip that. We don't need it. What's this bag doing here? All right, we have everything. We got two dolls. We got solvent. We got the Taiku folder, the Mel Hip flask. We already took a picture of that. I'm not. I am not going anywhere near the crying woman. I know for a fact she's gonna kill me. Miss Catherine took up painting as a hobby. It was when Saul who turned out to be the real painter. Okay. The question is... Oh. I need to stop doing that. Where do I go? The playroom has a puzzle. Downstairs we have a area marked, but so we... Don't we up there? Oh, those are the windows. Don't go to the windows. In that crying woman, there's no... I can make this a real short one. That is so unnatural. Oh. Is the attic just death? Oh, I really want to talk to her. All right, I'm gonna walk over. I'm gonna do it. 
problem is she's covering her face. And I can't tell she's all bandaged. Julia, it's me, Alex. Are you all right? What? What is this? A piece of a collectible, a yellowish folder full of papers. They seem to be haiku stuck to it. A crying friend, a parting gift, but only if they're themselves. Julia, where are you? An ungodly portrait of our Lord Jesus Christ from February, Jan from February, from January 11th, 1811. This easel is the one Miss Catherine used while learning to paint. Shame she gave up. She was quite good at it. This is the window we can go out of. This is the window. Careful, Alexander. You're not young anymore. Yeah, unlike another person. Nothing workers. They never finished the job and left a huge mess in the middle of everything. Only my other character knew that that was death. Sometimes while walking down the street, I've seen the hushes looking up at the stars from the balcony. There's no listen option. It's a glass door. Mrs. Catherine? Masha? Miss Catherine took a journal of her honeymoon with Mr. Sebastian. Those notebooks are a treasure for them. Where is everybody? Please come back. We can't leave the house. The master has been made has been made for a long time, like Julius. It's not been used at any time recently. At least the lights are on. If I want to, I would fit under this table. A blue rag doll. Rag doll wearing a hat. I don't want to look at the mirror. I'm not doing that. Of all the decorative items Mr. S Mr. Sebastian enjoys, the Japanese paintings, the others Miss Catherine likes the most. The Hushers have so many memories of those albums. I deem it safe. Right. Sebastian, I received the box again. Can't even stand to look at it, but still, I hear its music. After re returning it to me, has anything changed? Do you feel better? If so, maybe I should do the same, don't you think? I should try to find the previous owner, if that's even possible. Have you discovered anything? Please do tell me. I can't sleep or stay awake. I feel a presence. There's something here with me. Fourth letter from Isaac Fabar. Oh. Love of God. Not much going on here. Okay. Go back up. I will not go up there. How do I leave? No. 
I will not go up. Oh, wrong button. Um, where am I? Oh, I missed a door on the right side. Wait, this was the room where the lady was crying, wasn't it? Or was that... No, I think I think I'm in a different room. Open it. No, wrong button. Alright, give me a second. So all this is done. A lot of hiding places, and I don't like that. Ah! I must have died in an instant. Stupid bird. Um, the lights are flickering. Or right, if I have to, I can hide in the playroom. God, this house has a very unnatural sound to it. I hate it. Right. Still need more dolls. One second. Uh, no, no, no to Marsha. Safe riddle. This I need to do. Okay. I hate your favorite doll in the safe. How many dolls do I need? One second. No, no. 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 Okay. Nope. Back of it. Okay. One will be hungry, so that's one. Another one will be ready. Two ugly one will be a door, so someone comes in. I will hide five dolls, even to get mad at me. So one will be hungry, so her friends will make dinner for her. Another one will read while her mom takes a shower. The ugly one will watch the door, so nobody comes in. Alright. Right, I have that photo on my phone. I just don't remember the address of this place. I can go outside and find out, though. Drawing by soul. He's seven. Second. Okay, so it's add number. Okay. I have two of the numbers. I forgot that number on the or how the address. I have to go outside. Alright. So we got seven. We got the I got the painting. It's I have the picture on my phone. lights are flickering a little more and I hate that I know that it's coming I know it's coming and let me tell you I usually don't play these games in the dark everything's off except the little light in my camera to really light me up Ooh, it's unsettling which I know people love horror games but when I was doing this I was excited I'm like yeah we're gonna play horror games I can't wait I'm a wimp if you haven't been able to tell the last episode because I'll go oh what's over there I am god honest wimp with the uh, horror games. No, that's not it. Can't read anything, it's all wet. Is there a mailbox I can look at? I do not know who the car outside belongs to. Damn it, I just need- I forgot! I forgot the name of the house! My right dear- I left your key in the top drawer. I already did that. Seven. No. No. 
Meow. Um. No, don't look at the photo. It shows the scaffolding is literally on that one. Yeah. If you're wondering, I'm outside looking at my documents. This part of me thinks it's safer out here than it is in there looking at my documents. That bathtub's death. That black goo in the bathtub is death. I'm shocked the chick didn't kill me. Wait, 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 wait. Solvent. Flammable. I can light the fireplace with the solvent. Give me a second. So I'm going to go straight to the right. are out placed and the tables cover the dust why do this where's Marsha who I believe gonna lie I'm like I guess I'm dead oh I completed the husher I haiku collection I wasn't even trying all right a series of small poems written by Sebastian P husher nobody knows what inspired them a crying friend a parting gift but only if they're themselves Afraid to go out that door. Solvent stinks bad, more than when Marsha and I clean the toilets. Fire's lit. I remember when Mr. Smash and his friends and I hunted this deer, we killed it with a single shot. The thing is, is what does light in the fire do for me? I don't know. Maybe it makes it a little safer? Let me see, do I still have the solvent? I do not. I 
things messy and dusty. Little Saul was taking piano classes. I wonder if he still is. Yeah, I don't know what the haiku things do, but I have them. So yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out the house address. Just for the life of me, I don't remember. For Sebastian's travel guides. Like, you think it'd be outside. The house is getting more and more restless. Hmm. Four. I'm blind. Okay, give me a second. It's a uh, four seven. Give me a second. Give me a second. Safe riddle. It's four seven in the decade and the year. Hang on the canvas. I got the picture. One second. Seventeen ninety-eight. Decade and year. Yeah, because it was clearly out of his mind. It says July 14th, 1798. So it is 4, 7, 98. Decade and year. I just hear someone breathing. This house is... Bury something, I'll tell you that. So I want the decade and year. Okay. At least now I know. Okay, so we're gonna get going now. I have to get to the room where it is. Alright, let's do this. So. Like I said, oh, god damn it. Decade and year. Nope, oh, not that one, not what I wanted. Okay, I have to get back. The basement. Where's the basement door again? And this is why I'm outside. Um, I honestly don't remember the basement is I'm. Oh, I know. It's that door right there. So it is above the water closet in the front door. It's the second one to go to the right. We have the combination, let's get the doll. But then I'm still missing dolls, aren't I? Give me a second. I need five, I'll have four after this. I'm missing one. I really hope it's not in that bathtub. <sighs> Keep moving, don't stop. thought I heard somebody say dad. Okay, so it's decade and year. Four, seven, four, seven, nine, 
it. Yeah. One of the children's dolls was in the safe. I am taking it. down here for me. game sucks. Oh, wait, whoops. Oh, well, whoop. I hate that heartbeat game. I try. You remember how long it took me with the other guy? I don't want to redo this chapter. I don't know how far I am in this chapter. Oh, no. Come on. Alright, you have scented candles. And pushers. Oh, those come with you. You have all the documents. But you don't have the dolls. I'm the door was open. Is there anybody home? And you're not. I just lost somebody. I am not happy about that, by the way. That one is weird. Like I said, a person with common sense would see the doors open, call for the police, and leave. one doll. I don't know where it could be. Alright, we're going outside because I think it's safe. I'm going to be looking at the map. I need to find that last doll. Also, I want to see what she says about the uh, car. Daniel's car's here, so he's either inside the house, or the bloody junker finally broke down. Uh, he's in the house, and I, two people are dead because of me. Okay. Four dolls. I need five. Where will the last doll be? Damn it, I do not want to go to the bathtub, but the bathtub is the only thing I have going for me right now. Attic is done. Basement is done. Everything here, for the most part, is done. Everything up here is checked...
Oh, that's that's a car. Okay. Bit <laughs> damn doll B. Okay, so. Hmm, don't know. There's, I think, two doors on the top floor I haven't been in. I don't know how I didn't see it before. One on the left over there, one on the right over there. We're going upstairs. If that heartbeat game happens again, I'm probably going to die. It's weird. I'm gonna have to read tips about- actually, you know what? I'm gonna pause the game and I'm gonna read about tips for the heartbeat game, because I kid you not, I have no idea what I'm doing when I do that. The tutorial says to hit the buttons with the heartbeat, and I do, but nothing happens, so... Excuse me, sorry for the burps. Uh, I'm actually gonna check that out real quick. Alright. Well, I read a little more about it. Either I'm too fast, too slow with the presses. I don't know. But, yeah. Uh, one way you can do is when the circle lights up white, which I tried to do, or when you hear the heartbeat. And the slower the heartbeat gets, you're doing it right. I just suck at the minigame. We're going to the second floor. And I hope that one doesn't... Well, of course, it's going to pop up. I'm only on chapter one up. I have no idea. I'm only 32 minutes in, baby, and I already lost a character. He did not last long. Alright, give me a second. Alright, we'll, we'll do the library. Not the library. One second. Let me get out to the second floor. Okay. We'll do the door next to me. Yep. Right, I had to turn the power on to open it because of the darkness. Oh, you know, I completely forgot about this room. Old records strewn about the bed. There's classical music, though. I don't recognize this piece. Last. Full suitcase, an empty one. Right about to leave? Relax. A voice recording of Husher Mansion, Housekeeper Marsha. I am starting to worry. A few days ago, Mrs. Catherine started sleeping in Saul's room with the children. She's been avoiding me lately. Is she ashamed of something? Alexander and I have lived in this house for 16 years. With her and Mr. Sebastian. We've seen their children grow since they were babies. I don't understand this sudden change in attitude. I saw her playing and reading with the children in the living room last night. They looked exhausted. I could hear it in their voices, but they wouldn't go to sleep. They seemed to be avoiding it at all costs. I... I had a terrible nightmare last night. Something was lurking in the house. But in my attempt to escape, I couldn't find the main door. It was as if it didn't exist. Or as if I couldn't make it to the entrance hall. The strangest thing is... ...that I don't remember waking up. Interesting. Uh -huh. Alright, we got the last doll. That's all five. Now we gotta go to the playroom. Let's go. Hmm. Only bad things can happen. Don't worry me. Only bad things can happen. I could lose a third character. On the verge of finishing this one puzzle. 
don't run. I refuse to run because I'm afraid sound attracts it. Just go to the child's playroom. Damn it, there's a closet here too. All right, let's do this puzzle. All right. All right, real quick. Note. No. Oh, no. No. Ah, here we go. Okay. One will be one will be hungry, so her friend will make dinner for her. Another one will read while her mum takes a shower. The ugly one watch the door so nobody comes in. Okay, so ugly one's watching the door of the bathroom. Mum takes a shower. Okay. Huh. No. No. Hmm. Mum. Uh -huh. Okay, she's in the shower. Okay. Mom, where's the shower? Oh, shower. Ugly one, here. Okay. Another one will read while her mom take a shower. While her mom take a... Well, clearly the one with the glasses is reading. So, you, oh, you go in there. That means you go in there. No. You. Mm -mm. What did you Okay, fine. Ugly one, watch the door. Bookworm, read a book. Mother, take your shower. You in the kitchen. You eat. <sighs> nope. Damn it. Okay. One will be old times. <sighs> what am I doing wrong here? I feel like I'm close. Okay. Oh. okay, we know mom there, girl there. Friend, are you friend? Are you friend? You, I stuck there, I stuck there. Now I think I did both of them swap there, both of them swap there. Uh, I'll put you there one. There. No, actually I want you there and then you. Really, that worked? Yes. So that's the front door. Goodness gracious, a key. Am I about to get hunted? Heavy metal key was hot, hidden in the dollhouse. Huh. What is this key for? It seems out of place, even for this house. Don't. Don't. I'm begging you. Don't. We have to go downstairs. Yeah, like I said, big wimp with horror games. When I made this plan to do an entire month of horror games, I had a lot of good ones planned, and this one I wanted to start with. This one I've been wanting to play. Yeah, I should definitely turn the light on, probably feel a little better. Won't be so atmospheric, though. My God, what is that thing? It's I'm 
speechless. Aid us, save us, we are doomed. A faded piece of paper mysteriously appeared in Husher Mansion. Not going in there. The ammonia is making my eyes tear up. Tear up. I'm shocked you know there's ammonia in there. The problem is I can't leave yet. They're in that room, which is a problem for me. I love how they're like, you want to enter this room? Go ahead. something. Hmm. Examine. Well, he said that he sent... Okay. Personal item. It brings you the peace. So hopefully that helps a little bit. I'm gonna go back to that room and see if they're gone yet. It's clearly this place is a little haunted, just a little. Do not open that door. scavenger hunt right now? Like, what am I doing? I have the key. So there's more than one. to save us, we are doomed, bound enslaved to its desires. Alright, we'll go to the bathroom. I think, no, it's a cupboard, not a bathroom. Good job. Whoever put that there. Woo. You go. Um. Nothing. Well, I take it. I have to finish this note before I'm allowed to enter that room. is are they all down here we already know the living room and library do not have any so i'll check the water closet bathroom ah. 
the exit, September 28th, 1998. You know what? Relax. Now, how long does that say, uh, uh, there for? Let's find out. There's nothing here. Alright, it just stays there for a while. Um, you lead to the basement. They stick one in the basement. I don't know. I need to stop doing that. Um, or I can go to the garage. But we all know. Basement. Actually. Have I been to... No, I have been to that door. The house is really active and creaky now. <laughs> Relax. Relax. We're here looking for whatever that giant thing is that has a note. Basement. I walked into a death trap. check the garage. I'm gonna go upstairs. Yeah, that is still going, which I quite appreciate. So it lasts a while. Keeps your sanity up. Now we know where the darkness is lurking. Good, enter there. Nothing. You like that candle? No, okay. Just a thought. is the water closet, which I extremely doubt there's anything in. Yeah. Kids room? That'd actually be the logical choice. Flavor. Master bedroom. I saw it. I swear if this leads me to an insta kill, I am Ooh. Probably gonna call it quits for this game. <laughs> Just proves how bad I am. We'll pick it up next year when I'm better. Don't look at the dead bird. Keep moving. We're in the 
master bedroom, look for another whatever it is. There's none. Aid us, save us, we are doomed, bound and slave to its desires. Help us make it, pull us through. Is there one more? Music's still going, so it's definitely not over yet. Let me guess, go outside, silence? That'd be nice. Let me see. I'm not going up that scaffolding. Okay, uh, study. We'll check the study. There's nothing... I mean, I guess we can check the attic. Hmm. Oh look, there's a hiding spot. from it. Not dealing with it. I can't hear behind the doors while I am breathing heavily and that breathing was just getting louder and louder. Okay. Right. Parse the dark one in the fire. I have to go back and grab the doll. Shoot! There's nowhere to hide around here. That's time. Let's see if I can do it. dad I did it okay I'm learning the mini game everybody oh I'm watching the da I'm not going That's with over. the sound just horrific I need you yeah I'm going with the da I am not going with the sound sound shockingly doesn't help me I have to watch the dot and close with white Okay, I can live during that now. Oh, no, don't run. Please stop running. Do not run. Do not run unless I ask for it, which apparently it's Toggle. Didn't know. I've been going for a little less than an hour. I already like calling it. Yep, man, up and do this. Second. Throw this black one in the fire. I already have the fire lit. I had no idea why I was lighting it. Now I do. 
It's all a five. All right, there we go. Um, there you go. The fire was definitely the best place for that hideous thing. Does that mean it's gone? Well, they're gone, and the lights in there are on. They just turned off. They're on. Yeah, uh, there's a door. Is this when the game actually begins? But what on earth is that door doing there? Mm -mm. It's locked. Very good question. You should have left and called the stupid. You should have left and called the cops. What in the world's place? What are those writings? What's that horrible damp smell? Okay, never mind. What is this hideous place? I'm trying to increase her heartbeat too much. It's a monastery. I can. It has church music, and those are monks, and there's crosses. Um, hello. Can I open this door? It leads me here. Elsewhere? Apparently I gotta leave now. Yay. I can't control where she looks right now. Jesus is doing her own thing. to clearly miss something. No, I missed something. Yeah, her hand has very limited control right now. You should be able to open this door. It's the end. Um, hello. Like you walked here. You worked yourself to get there. Only for nothing to be here. Did I bug her out trying to use that? I don't know. I can look at this room of bodies. So it's odd. What else can I interact with? There has to be a door. Oh my god, Daniel! Daniel's alive? 
Lady, you're yelling help. Someone in help us, please! You're yelling help in the absolute wrong place. They finally found me. I was feverish, dehydrated, and terrified. But alive. I don't remember much about the ride to the hospital, but I did mumble a few questions about the music box. I had heard it. The endless, grim song it played wouldn't stop hammering in my brain. I would even swear I'd seen it there on the table, on the other side of the mirror. No, no, impossible. There was no box. It was just a hallucination, a mirage. I needed to rest, that was all. Just rest. Hey, Doc. Don't tell me I'm in a mental ward. Where am I? Uh. Black goop. Black goopy. Ooh, it's a music note. <laughs> Ooh. Rene Artigues, Daniel Neuer, Sofia Van Denen, and Erica Faba. Oh, she must be. You know what? I'm going to. Hmm. Army wants to fuse these in the two parts. Episode one and one whole part. Though I got feeling. These are about to get a lot longer. Um. Because the first part's already almost closing on three hours. This one's already an hour. That make it four hours. Bit too long. Nah. Uh, I can start episode two. Let's start episode two. Eerily quiet. We're doing this again? We already know it's the nurse with the black goop on her face. Hey, Doc! How you doing? Where am I? Goop! Yeah, it's like... <gasps> oh. Well, well. It appears as though the Prince of Slumber will be granting us an audience. How are you feeling, Your Highness? Of my head. I had a dream. I. I'm okay. Thanks for coming, Lydia. You had us all on tender hooks. When I found you. <laughs> my God, Daniel. I'm glad to see you awake. So. I'm better. I'm. I'm fine. By the way. I found a note at the Hersha house. It. Daniel. The doctor said you need complete rest complete i'm fine really i found this then search his Apparently body and find that received a music box from an acquaintance of his a certain mr farber it seems as though he was researching the music box when he vanished and from what farber says the music box may be related to everything that has happened that's his wife sure we should stick our nose into this business after everything that's occurred we need to find husha I saw the box that Faber describes in this letter, but it wasn't really there. It was as if it were on the other side of... Oh, I think we should pay a visit to this Faber and ask him about the music box and Husha. He has a shop in the city not far from here. Daniel, please. I'm fine, really. I think going to a shop and asking the owner a few questions falls within the range of what we can do, don't you? Mm. Okay, so he's alive, which is cool. But we get a choice of characters. I'm gonna kill some. You already know, at least half of them are dead. Okay, we got Sophia again. 
Erica Fabo. Rene Artigas. And Daniel Noir. Neuer. Alright, so let's read about Daniel and then we'll go back to the other two. Daniel Noir. Neuer. Yeah, he's all jumpy now and the lights are flickering, so yeah, he is. Okay, age 43, light source flashlight. Daniel is a publicist and ex-entrepreneur whose failed business venture led him to become an alcoholic. Drinking cost him his health, his marriage to Sophie, and even his home. Daniel, who has been so sober for some time now, has finally managed to secure a stable job and slowly rebuild his life. Badge of Preservance. Preservance. I had to lose it all to find myself. I don't want that to happen again. And now her. I want to see if her lights flicker and she gets scared too. I'm very curious. Come on, lady. You experienced just what he did. But yeah, I don't I do not blame him for being jumpy when the lights flicker. Okay. Is that his daughter or wife? Definitely daughter. Age 24, light source lighter. Erica manages the far the uh, Faber and Sons antique shop along with her father, Isaac. If he's the art expert, she's the managing brains. She's always on top of every slight, every slightest detail of the business. Her father's adventurous spirit takes her all over the world in search of new items to adorn the shop's windows. Incredibly active, Erica has many hobbies and lets her imagination run wild at every chance she gets. Oh, she's wearing headphones. That's the music I'm hearing. She has high speed, not very good stealth, strength, and a lot of serenity. Radio cassette player, my favorite music, ready to listen out to, to on the go. Helps you focus and remember who I am. Then this Ram police officer, Rene Artigas. Age 37, light source flashlight. Rene. Rene was born to be a cop, and he'll die one too. Born in the Caribbean, he grew disillusioned with the police department in his own town and set sail to Europe, where he thought his integrity and sense of duty would serve him better. The grass wasn't as green as it seemed. Tired of moving around, Rene decided to settle down and do what he could to help his new fellow citizens. His speed is decent, stealth not so much, strength and serenity are pretty good, service weapon holstered and secured as per safety regulations. I hope I never have to use it. I'm actually interested in this guy. Do not carry... Do not carry additional... Okay, we'll put... Why not? Let's do it. Usher receives a strange music box from his friend of Farber here. Yeah, like I said, let the police handle this. That's what I'm doing. And he's gonna be the first one to blade die, probably. Got a disturbance in the area. Open up. No, no. October 1st, 1998. Alright, so we got the service weapon. Red Pyramid Mod. 86 ammo. Colt 8 mm. I love to live in a world where police officers didn't need firearms. And then we got those. A list of items that can be found in the shop. It's quite well stocked. It's already creaking. All I know this place is haunted. I hope whatever is under the flower pot is not the key to the shop. It'd be majorly unadvisable to leave it there. An old key found in the flower pot. The key is antique and it's right own right. I doubt the lock is secure. Oh, the restaurant looks like it's closed. The lights are on inside. Maybe they're the ones who report the bizarre noises coming from the shop. That's why I'm here. Bizarre noises, which, as we've heard, yeah. I'm not leaving here without completing an in-depth investigation of that call. So I might be in harm's way or in immediate danger. Dude, I feel bad for you. There's a lock. Okay. Uh. Alright. And a 
umbrella stand filled with dry umbrellas, so they haven't been used in day to use today. Could someone still be inside the shop? Don't know why you want to listen. I would laugh if this door just immediately killed him. Man, it's eerily, eerily quiet. Co hanger, it's moving. It was probably. Everything seems to be in order and quiet. But I better check things out in here. Oh man, I would just take that and write the report now. Oh, okay. I can't find it. I can't remember where I stored that blasted music box. I thought I left it with the rest of the lot, didn't I? Yes, otherwise, where could it be? In this lot, there was also a wardrobe full of dry blood stains. We took it out into the courtyard, dragged it to one of our storage rooms in the basement. But which one did we place it in? I can't remember what color or shape it was. What's wrong with me? Could I possibly, could I possibly reveal the bloodstain left behind somehow? I would have to buy luminol, right? That's what the police use. Perhaps there's a way I could find the list of products containing the wardrobe and the, the box with it. Sebastian says I must return to return it to its original owners, the Legrand Ams Amsberg family. If I can manage that, will this madness come to an end? Receipts for, receipts for purchases of several lots of antiques by the Fab Fab Barber and Son shop, along with the address of the original owners of the lots. One is Mark Ledger's of uh, at Letters of Old Furnishings and Music Box, Le Grand Amsberg Auction. Oh, you're a spooky looking thing. I'm gonna look at you last. Items displayed for sale, nothing out of the ordinary. Hmm? Nice ship. I wish I'd cross the Atlantic in one of those instead of steer steel cage class in a giant can. Tan I can't read right now. A telescope. Unfortunately, I know more perverts than that use the using the spy and their neighbors than astronomy fans that use them is the stars ah you know what a game for fairs and amusement parks i don't like the doll or the lights none of it oh interesting under the counter are several types of cheap brick bric-a-brac bric-a-brac bric -brac, quite commonplace in these types of shops. All the objects on the shelves are antiques. Some are customers' information cards and order forms. Hmm. A switch for electrical devices. I need a special key to turn it on. Hmm. Right. Wire co hanger. Old books and scrolls. This establishment is just brimming with interesting objects. These are items. These are display items for the store and the table. Nothing under it, however. All right. Let's see what we got. We got two things going on. I need a key for that. I don't know what I need for that. And I already have a hiding spot. Perfect. that say gallery door closed to ask enter ask the counter hmm? scrolls old tomes stacks of books there are libraries at smaller inventory than this shop all right let's go in here Dear Isaac, I am sorry about your trouble your trouble getting to sleep. If there is any consolation, I have been suffering in the same plight recently myself, perhaps due to imminent proofreading of my novel. If quality can be measured by the time invested, it should be one of my finest works. However, I suspect that this is not always the case. Despite everything, I have found a bit 
of time to look into the mus mysterious music box. Based on the carving in the wood, I am certain that it is European from the late 19th or e early 20th century. I also noticed that it is of extraordinary quality, perhaps a real luxury item back in its era. I will continue my research. Get well soon, Sebastian P. Husher. Hmm. A pile of boxes with private business documents. Not very well organized, but I, I admit my own are quite messed too, so it's not to go pointing fingers. Okay, we're done here. Dummy for dressmaking. Not of much interest to me at this time. A guitar. See the price around here anywhere. But it isn't exactly top of my shopping list either. Hmm? An empty old suitcase. This was like the one that my parents lent me when I came to live in Europe. Feels like a lifetime ago. An old spyglass. Not too shabby as a decorative piece, but I doubt it magnifies much. I hope this can is not working. Selling it to civilian would be terribly irresponsible. A jack in the box who buys this kind of stuff. I'm hearing something to the right. Upstairs. Hmm. A box full of vases. They look like they were left here and never unpacked. Some of these things are really expensive. I imagine it because they're antique. Hmm. Okay. Maybe I'll just do a two-hour session in this one. Everything is in quite good shape, except that mirror. An impressive suit of armor. And a bathroom. I don't hear anything in the bathroom. Spray bottle. Hmm. It once held a dangerous substance in its light. A mirror's broken, but there's no other sign of violence inside. Towels for customers covered in dust. Either there aren't many customers or the store's been closed for days. You'd be right in that part. You left for vacation and then disappeared. Alright. Uh, let's go left. That's quiet enough. What time? Don't wait. Mm. Okay, it's locked. Hey, a gun! A weapon should be not be used as decoration. It just sends the wrong message. I mean, you have katanas. Oh, I'm not looking forward to going up there. I hear noises. And I know I can't enter that yet. E. Um, yeah, so the only place to go is up the stairs. I'm hearing weird things up the stairs. Judging by the display, this document should be important, although if it were really valuable, they'd keep on blocking the key, though. Miscellaneous items on display, including two Japanese swords. I hope they watch out to prevent any customers from climbing up and grabbing one. Hey look, it's Pinocchio. Bases of considerable size, better be careful around such brittle pieces. The table's covered with the shop sales materials. There is space underneath it, though. 
Because we have to keep pointing that. A gramophone, like the one my ch my childhood home had, uh, like my childhood home. Nothing that would be any use though now. Hmm? Oh wait, what? What do you say? Okay. No. Well, organized books on important. Personage, uh, personage. I suppose that there is some method in the madness, the way this mess. Okay. A drawer closed with a high security steel lock. I hope they don't store any money in there. Safe. Yeah, I'm not reaching my hand in the mouth. Okay. No way. You can write your report now. You can leave. You don't have to go down those stairs. He wants to go down those stairs. Yeah. Reach my hand in that thing's mouth. Would it kill me? There's a chance. So I won't. Leakage. Man, just turn back and write your report. Mm -mm. Oh. I have to reach my hand in? Okay. I got f mm. The only thing that could be bad if I do that is if the mouth clamps on my arm and it bites my hand off. Call it quits. This place looks quiet to me. Uh. Goodbye. Oh, come on. Every door is locked in there. What else do you need to look at? Damn. Well, I'm going to open up a can real quick. Because now is the perfect time to leave. You just entered every single room you could. There we go. Entered every single room you could. Technically, every place is locked up. You can't find a key. I think it's safe to say you can leave. Hmm. Okay. Anything I have, or the Sebastian? Oh, oh no, we already got that too. Hanger, spray bottle. Still have the thick key. And my gun! Alright. 
I will say, I need to stop looking down there at myself when clearly you guys are up there. <laughs> I keep looking down there because I want to see myself, but I need to look up there. But what haven't I done? Why is the... Con oh, something since I started is the controls here are random. They're changed. Lock. I need a key. Oh, wait. No, that's the do door's locked. Everything's locked. Everyone, I want you to say goodbye to this wonderful police officer who I, we just got in control of because I can't do anything else. I'm sorry, man. Oh, he's not dead. A bronze Coltor token. Okay, at least I'm not dead yet. Well, I gotta use it with this. Make your wish. Message drop down. Let's see what nonsense it says. There's something you forgot, remember? Oh. Hmm. There's something you forgot. Remember it, and you will be blessed. Is that my inventory now? Yeah. Nope. Oh, wait. This... A special key. Oh no, there we go. The cash register is ancient. I hope they take out the money I ever Okay. Oh, I'm not gonna lie. I have no idea what to do with this. Yeah, it's locked, I know. No way. Mm -hmm. Huh. I honestly have no idea. You want to know what? I think we got a decent start on this. I'm getting tired. This one I'm going to call short. The next one I'll make a little longer. But I'm going to end this one here. I guess I'm getting tired. On top of that, I don't know what I'm doing at the moment. <laughs> I hate to call it now, but... Um... Uh, but until then, I will see you next time. And hopefully, I can stop this song of horror. But until then, I'll see you next time, and... Bye.